10 Deadliest Skydiving Fails Caught on Camera When a parachute fails and you're falling thousands of feet or kilometers, the chances of making it become slim to none. While the chances of this happening are rare, it can happen to any one of the thousands of people who leap out of a plane every year. Watch till the end to hear crazy skydiving fail stories. Number 10. Craig Stapleton when we read stories like Craig Stapleton's of California, who miraculously survived a skydiving accident, it's difficult to believe. Craig was an evident master of his profession, accumulating an astonishing 7,000 skydiving jumps. In 2013, he boarded an airplane to do a flag trick, jumping from a plane that was 8,000 feet in the air. Though he realized something was extremely wrong almost as soon as he went to open his chute, 30 seconds after he leapt from the jet, which was barreling through the air at an amazing speed, his main parachute deployed, but it deployed wrongly. He began spinning wildly, and his parachute failed to moderate his rate of descent. Thankfully, they're well prepared, carrying a backup parachute in case the first one fails. Craig thought quickly and deployed his backup, but the reserve became entangled in the original parachute, twisting him into a whirling human torpedo. Upon landing, he was one meter away from hitting iron spikes protruding from the ground. Thankfully, he managed to impact in a soft spot of dirt, which was part of his saving grace. Even more miraculously, he had no broken bones. Number 9. Dan Brodsky Chenfield Dan Brodsky Chenfield is a man who made the best of a bad situation. He was a longtime professional skydiver who would go on to survive the world's deadliest skydiving accident. April 23, 1992, a group of 22 people boarded a tiny plane for a routine skydive. Dan had been skydiving since 1980. He was a seasoned veteran. All of a sudden, he awoke in the middle of a dream, unsure of what had happened. But he knew something was seriously wrong. Dan had been in the hospital after weeks of being in a coma. Dan found out the plane that he was on had crashed. His neck, as well as several other bones in his body, were broken, and his skull fractured. One of his lungs had collapsed. He was fortunate to be alive. The majority on board didn't make it. The plane broke down, bringing everybody down with it. Dan thankfully healed fully and went on to skydive again. Dan went on to deliver presentations and establish himself as a motivational figure in the skydiving world. He speaks frequently about his traumatizing experience and triumphs over adversity. He's an inspiration for others to succeed and win in life despite all odds. Number 8. August 2019 In August of 2019, a woman in Canada went through something most of us would consider unthinkable. She survived a skydiving accident in what can only be characterized as a miracle. The woman boarded an airplane in Quebec as a solo skydiver, complete with her parachute. When she jumped, the plane reached the appropriate altitude of about 5,000 feet. Dennis Demers was a bystander who witnessed the incident, which was the woman's parachute failing to open as she sped toward the ground at an alarming rate. Her reserve parachute, like Stapleton's, also failed. The skydiver hurtled towards the ground at breakneck speed, heading straight for a densely forested area, showing no indications of slowing down. She collided with surrounding trees, which I'm not sure improved or worsened the nightmarish conditions. Even more incredible is the fact that she survived the fall. And more bizarre than that, her injuries were all non-life-threatening. She had shattered vertebrae and various bone fractures, but nothing that would claim her life. It's a miracle she's still alive. Number 7. Michael Holmes Michael Holmes planned to attempt a life-changing skydiving jump. Holmes packed his parachute and double-checked that it wasn't prone to failure. Funny enough, many skydiving accidents can be attributable to incorrect parachute packing rather than a malfunctioning chute. When his initial chute did not deploy, Michael realized he had no other option and pulled his reserve, praying for the best. That reserve did not deploy. Michael remained falling mid-air. His initial thought was he was a goner. He awoke from a mist of disorientation brought on by the concussion he had from colliding with the ground at a high rate and realized he'd been knocked out. He was also a little embarrassed. 
Imagine surviving a near-free-fall skydiving jump, and the first thought that comes to mind is you're embarrassed. Holmes was spared because, of all things, he landed in a blackberry bush, which had cushioned his long fall from the sky. Make a mental note, if you fall out of a plane, aim for some blackberry bushes. Number 6. Emma Carey Emma Carey was 20 years old when she decided to leap off of an aeroplane on December 26, 2018 a day she would never forget. On vacation, she jumped out of a plane to skydive and took the plunge she'd been waiting for, completely oblivious that something was wrong at the time. Something wasn't quite right. She was traveling at a breakneck speed for much longer than she expected to stay in free fall. She noticed her parachute hadn't yet opened and spoke about it with the instructor who was jumping in tandem with her. There was no reaction. It had to be the wind, she reasoned. She continued to plummet until she recognized something was seriously wrong. By this time, she'd been falling for quite a while. When looking up, she noticed that both her parachutes had become entangled. She realized she was going to lose her life at that point. The two then landed in a field just a few meters from a paved road running alongside it. She never passed out, though she later said she wished she had, so that she wouldn't have remembered everything. She was in rough shape. But she was lucky. Just a few feet over, she would have landed on concrete, and that would have been a different story. Number 5. Carol Murray Rodriguez This terrifying video captures the moment a woman's parachute became caught as she tumbled through the air to her near demise during a jump gone awry. Carol sustained life-altering injuries, including a thigh-bone fracture that ripped through her skin. She's still dealing with the after-effects of the horrific jump 20 years later. She admits that the images of her getting hooked in her parachute mid-flight in September 1997 still give her the creeps. Kira was allowed to leap from the plane on her own, without the assistance of an experienced skydiver after four hours of bogus lessons. Somebody owes Carol some money! Number 4. Elijah Aron's Elijah Aron's story is one of tragedy and triumph as well as self-sacrifice, and it's noteworthy because he was 14 years old when this catastrophe occurred. It was November of 2015, and Elijah, then 14, was skydiving in New South Wales, Australia, with an instructor who'd been tasked with taking him on the adventure, a 44-year-old guy named Tony Rokov. On a beautiful day for skydiving, the two went out for a tandem jump and during their descent, a completely unexpected blast of wind came along and struck the divers, causing their parachute to fail. They were plummeting in a near freefall. Tony Rokov tucked himself underneath the youngster and pulled him upwards as they approached the ground, providing the boy with a temporary barrier between himself and the earth. When the two collided, paramedics rushed to the scene. Elijah's life had been miraculously saved by Tony Rokov's heroics who unfortunately didn't make it. Tony Rokov was given the Star of Courage, an honor bestowed upon only 170 Australians since the 1970s. Number 3. Mackenzie Wethington Mackenzie Wethington, a 16-year-old girl from Texas, was set to get the amazing gift of skydiving as a birthday present. Her plane ascended to 3,500 feet before she leapt out. When she pulled the ripcord of her parachute over Pegasus Air Sports Center in Oklahoma, a malfunction occurred as she careened down towards the earth. Her parachute spun like a top, whirling her below it, which even a casual spectator can tell you, that's not how a parachute's meant to work. Upon impact, physicians stated her injuries were comparable to being hit by a car driving between 40 and 50 miles an hour. She was fortunate to land in a sand hole rather than other tougher, dense materials, which would have been way more dangerous. Her liver was burst, her teeth were fractured, and her legs from her hips to ankles were seriously wounded with several broken bones. But she did not require surgery and recovered on her own after a lengthy eight-week rehabilitation. Number 2. Parachute on Fire Troy Hartman is a pioneer in the sport of skydiving. Troy is an aerial stuntman, a pilot, a base jumper, and a skydiver. He pulled off several remarkable acts, many of which have yet to be duplicated. Surfing behind a helicopter, base jumping off a moving semi-truck over a bridge, and flying with a jetpack are just a few of his astounding feats. 
One of his favorite stunts, he claims, was this one, where he connected up an old parachute and lit it on fire. Number 1. Laverne Everett's Birthday Age is just a number. We should all pursue every wild dream we have, but let's make sure our harnesses are in place and tight when we do so. Laverne Everett had 79 birthdays before this one, but it's safe to say this one was the worst. The octogenarian celebrated her 80th birthday by skydiving, something she longed to accomplish. However, the jump did not go as planned, and her sister's YouTube video says it all. Laverne adds in the video that she's delighted about the leap, which took place at the Parachute Center in Lodi, California, while still on solid ground. When it comes time to jump out of the plane, she appears to be understandably hesitant, clutching onto the sides of the plane. The man who was jumping with her finally let go of her hands and the two of them tumbled. However, something goes horribly wrong right away. Laverne appears to be on the verge of slipping out of the harness, while her partner clings to her like a lifeline. She slipped down since the higher harness had come off, and all she had was the bottom harness. Thankfully, the parachute deployed, and the two landed safely. People on the ground rushed over to help Laverne and her partner at the end of the video. That was quite a close call. See you next time.